Morning coaches, I'm going to walk through how to load a huddle practice script onto the coach pad and I'm going to try to show this the best I can. So I have, uh, you know, obviously my laptop, I like using the dual monitors and then I have the coach pad, it's turned off right now. And then here is my uh, USB-C cord that I use to transfer uh, with the wire. You can also do it wirelessly, but I'm going to show this, this video is going to be on how to transfer with a wire. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my huddle account. So you guys obviously know how to go there. And I'm logged in already. So I'm going to go to my play tools, practice scripts. And obviously I will have created a practice script, uh, you know, just like normal, just like you normally do. And so I just have a couple here made up. I'm going to go uh, select this one and, you know, I can open it up here. I can go right to print, you know, however... I want to get there to the print. So we're going to kind of follow that, that whole print process. And you're always asked like show data on cards. I like to select that show field lines. Yes. And then I like doing one card per page and then I hit print. Now, when I get to this screen and I'm on Google Chrome uh, browser, obviously I have all my pages they show in the first page is the, uh, is the script. So I just have what one, two, three, four, four, uh, four plays on here. Up here is that print icon that a lot of us just go hit that and print off the paper, but not anymore with the coach pad. So now I'm gonna select this download arrow right next to it. And I, I, I get a window here and I'm doing this on a PC. It's gonna be similar on a, on a Mac. And I'm gonna go choose my desktop. And then Huddle gives this long default name for the file. So I'm just gonna select it in backspace. And then maybe this is a Tuesday uh, trick plays or something like that. So I'm going to rename it. It selects a PDF file and I'm going to hit save. Now, as soon as I save it now, I don't know if you saw over here, but on my, on my uh, desktop here, uh, a file popped up. There's a PDF file here. So I'm going to uh, close these out here and, you know, back to my um, huddle browser. But uh, over here, there's the PDF that I just downloaded. And if I just, you know, want to open this up, this is how it's displayed on my computer. Um, as a Google Chrome icon, because I use Google Chrome to review my PDFs. And there it is. There's the PDF that I just saved. So now that I just saved this, now I, I'm going to connect, or I'm gonna, first I'm going to turn on the coach pad. So I'm just going to hit that, again, the power button's up here in the top right. So I'm going to turn it on. Hold the button for two, three seconds, let go. It's going to flash and start turning on. All right, now that the device is uh, turned on, it's going to load up here, and I have it set to go to my library. And uh, again, hopefully this works, you know, seeing the whole sh whole setup here. But I have on my uh, library, I have all my files. I have some folders, some here, some uh, bookshelves. And again, you can uh, set those up by adding a, a new bookshelf. There's a little icon with a plus sign. I'm going to add a new bookshelf there. If you're not seeing that, make sure you're over here on the, on the left-hand side that uh, the books are showing. If the clock is, is selected, then you won't see the, the folder icon over here. You have to have those books uh, selected over here on the left. So you could always set up a folder. And I have that here where I have um, a, a folder, a football folder, and I have all my game weeks in there, okay, all set up. And they're all named a certain way. So now, uh, now that the, the, the coach pad is on, now I'm gonna connect my USB cord on the bottom left-hand side. And as soon as I do that, obviously this isn't the first time I've connected it. So automatically it pops up and there is internal shared storage. And I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to open up a, uh, all my folders. And these are the folders that are in the storage. Now, one of them is the football team. I created a folder uh, in here for football team. If you want to create your own folder for a team, then you would just right click in there. So let me get this back up, click there, and then I should see the coach pad on, you know, that's another thing. The coach pad can, can pop up here on the left-hand side and you can, you know, go select it this way. Some, some coaches say it just pops up over here 
like in your um, quick access, maybe you've used it recently or it's not showing up. If it's not showing up, uh, that happens every once in a while, just unplug it. And then when you plug it back in, you will hear a little tone and then there it is. There's the uh, internal storage again. Now, if you, when you're in here and let's say you wanna create your own folder, you would just right click, new folder, and then let's add um, um, football team. I'll just say football team. I'm sorry, football program. I have football team in there already. So let's say I have that right there. There's my new folder I created for my football program. Now, on the coach pad, when I load this huddle practice script, I want it to show up automatically in my library. So in the top right, there are three horizontal lines. I'm going to press that. And then one of the settings is library settings. I'm going to hit library settings. Now, on this page, it says automatically scan the specified path of internal storage. And there's a couple there that are already listed. And that means that if I add a file, let's say I add this PDF file to, to that folder, it'll automatically show up in the library. So now that I've created a custom folder for my football team, I'm going to add that to this list here. And I do that by hitting this circle with a plus sign. And it's going to give me a list of all the files that I have, or all the folders in my storage. And there is the one I just created, football program. I'm going to check that box, and then I'm going to hit add up here in the top right. And now that I've added that, it is now added to the list here. Okay, that's going to help me because as soon as, as soon as I throw that in here, so I'm going to open up on my Windows file, well, window here, I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to drag, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to drag this PDF that I downloaded from my Huddle Project Scripts. As soon as I drag that over into this folder, you're going to see on the coach pad, boom, it just popped up. Okay, so you might rewind that and whatever, but you'll see it just pop up here. As soon as I take that PDF and throw it in on the folder there on my uh, computer, it is now on the coach pad. I can actually disconnect this and head right out to practice. Okay, so now that it's on here, I just want to show how to organize that. If I want to add that to, let's say that, um, you know, again, I, I created a folder here and I have all my game weeks in here. If I want to move this PDF to a certain game week, the way I do that is I just long press on the, on the file that I added. And one of my options is move. And when I select move, I'm going to see a list of all the folders. So I'm going to go over here to my, my weeks here and I'm going to add it to week five. And it's now gone into week five. So then I can come over here. Go to my week five, and there is that Tuesday trick plays that I added. Um, I downloaded from my huddle practice scripts to my uh, to my desktop, and now it's on the coach pad, ready to go up to practice. Didn't have to print, not stuff in any binders. Now, if I want to display, if I want to go out to practice now and, and work with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to turn mine to landscape. So I I pull down from the top, and I get a little notification here, a little uh, some settings, and then I'm going to rotate. And there's this icon here for rotation. And I'm going to select that one. And then I select the second icon from the left. And when I do that, it's going to rotate my screen to landscape. Okay, so hopefully everybody's following along there on the, on the video. So now that I'm in landscape, excuse me, I have now uh, my folder here of all my game weeks. So I'm going to go in there. I put it in week five. And there's the file. And I'm just going to select it. And it's going to open it up. Page one, as you guys know, page one is always that uh, script, you know, showing the number of plays and everything. And then, uh, and so one of the things I like to do first is I like to use my fingers and I like to squeeze together and it just kind of um, fits the page to the uh, screen really well. And now I can, I can long swipe and I can change those cards, okay, change those pages. So I'm no longer dealing with those clear vinyl sleeves. I can do that, get to the last one and I can go back and uh, go again to the other ones. I can hit the checkerboard over here on the floating toolbar and I can navigate around that way as well no matter how many plays I have. The hand icon, it looks like looks like this on the floating toolbar. If I press that and I, I put a line through it, now I can't do the long swipe or this, or this thing. I have to use the arrows to uh, change my pages. Okay, so remember that. I can do the, the checkerboard still and notice I haven't used the, the stylus at all to do any of this. I can do all this with my finger. 
but I like to uh, have this on when I'm outside at practice and long swipe through the place. And then of course, if I, if I want to write a little note on top of one of these for something, um, you know, and I'll look for number one receiver, let's say, or number one player. So I can write on there. Um, let's say it wasn't the number one receiver. Let's say, look for number two or look for the bubble or whatever. Uh, I can write that note. And then when I swipe across, I go to the next page and I can always come back and all those notes will be saved uh, to the uh, to the page. So again, some of those features of using the huddle practice scripts um, on the coach pad. And again, it's in landscape. So when I uh, hit the button underneath the sticker to, to get out of there and I can navigate back to like my home home area here and maybe I want to put it back to portrait. So then I'm going to pull down from the from the here from the top there and I'm going to rotate and I'm going to select the last one on the right and you'll get you'll get used to doing all this really quickly and now I'm back to uh, portrait. So hopefully that shows you how to uh, go to huddle, download the PDF, then connect the coach pad after it's turned on and then you'll see your inner turn storage. Just drag your PDFs over. It could be three or four or five PDFs, you know, for practice. Drag those over and they're on the coach pad. You can disconnect, head out to practice, and then that shows kind of how to, to work with those. So hopefully this video uh, has helped. And uh, as always, um, please uh, reach out if I can help in any way. Um, whether on my social media, you know, the coach pad on Twitter or uh, my myself, 785 three, four, one, two, five, five, five. And I'd be happy to, to help you guys get powered up.